guys, and welcome to GTA Live Solo Map Pad Edition, Selfish Content Edition. Um, that is a lot of qualifiers for what is otherwise just another gameplay video of yet another game on a channel that's been going for many years at this point. Um, yeah, so here I am. Uh, Steph is still unavailable to film new GT Lives with me right now, but you know, someone's got to do content for this channel, friends, and so the burden falls upon me. So, but it's it's not so much of a burden, right, because I'm just hanging out with you guys. And honestly, I'm playing a really fun game, and that game is... There is no game. There's no game. There's no game here. Why are you watching this? Why? I called this a gameplay video at the top of the episode, but... I don't even realize why I did that, because there, there's no game here, or at least that's what they keep trying to convince me, but I might see through their games. I think they're playing mind games with me, so at the very least, there's mind games in this game about there being no game. Makes perfect sense, right? Fourth wall breaking to the max. Um, so yeah, last time we started playing this game, we got through chapter one. Hopefully we can get through chapter two today. Uh, but this is basically, uh, you know, kind of one of those point-and-click, like, puzzle-solve, uh, adventure-style, not adventure, puzzle-solving sorts of games. It's a lot of fun, tongue-in-cheek humor, and honestly, you don't need Steph or I on the couch because the narrator does enough talking for both of us that it's hard to get a word in edgewise. And thank, thank Flying Spaghetti Monster for that, because no one wants to hear us talk any more than we already do. We do talk a lot. I didn't realize that. But like, between the live streams, or the GT Lives at this point, GT Not Lives at this point, and three channels, we do a lot of talking online. A lot of talking. I guess we're not, we don't talk as much as people who like do daily vlogs or do a lot of social media posting. So maybe we're not like overstaying our welcome, but a lot of talking. So anyway, enough witty banter or what, whatever Amy will say down in the bottom where she separates out this stuff. She says witty banter. I don't think this was particularly witty. This was me just vamping to lead us in to what the actual content, the meat of today is, which is chapter two of There Is No Game Wrong Dimension. See, I practiced before the stream. I'm like, what was it? It's Wrong Dimension. There's just a lot of Warped Tour keeps coming into my mind every single time we play this, but that's the Crash Bandicoot game. There is no game. Warped Tour is not the right one to go with. So this is Wrong Dimension, the newest game that just came out. So here we go. Part two, behind the scenes. See what we got in store, huh? More puzzle-solving adventures. Okay. So when last we left, we had fought, we had accessed or unleashed a glitch into all the international versions of There Is No Game. Those all got destroyed by Mr. Glitch. We got sucked through a portal for what? reasons. And now here we are. What happened? I think I went to sleep for a minute. Where, where are we? Izzer? Izzer, are you here? I'm here with you, buddy. I'm here. <sighs> I'm not alone. You are not Why alone. Why on earth did you touch the bug? I warned no you about one it. Is alone. Look where that got us. That Little Sondheim us classing up your gameplay video somewhere. today. Somewhere? I don't know. Name that where. musical down in the comments. All right. So. This place is very strange. The, very Why strange. Some kind of television. It would Maybe we should not touch it. Ooh. Okay. Got a couple. Ooh. Ooh, a coded wheel. All right. Huh. So it we've looks got. Like the screen doesn't have a video signal. It, it, thank you. No, thank you. It's probably not plugged in, right? I mean, I probably. Oh, hey, screwdriver. What? Oh. You plugged in the video input. I, I did. Oh, you just couldn't help yourself, could you? You told me to. Oh, that doesn't look very sturdy. Weird. Are we just gonna. I did not mean to shatter the TV screen. As an old CRT TV, it should it should be a little bit stronger than that. Ghost Possession Poltergeist, Miss Voodoo 555-2368. Kisses from the Gear Factory. Ooh. My So my cursor is blowing up on the gear. So it seems like I should be able to peel this stamp off, but it doesn't 
I must need something else. Miss Voodoo, 555-2368. So that's going to play into a part here. So if I plug it in... Weird. Okay, so let's keep it unplugged right now. He's like, oh, you plugged it in. You told me to plug it in, dude. Uh, can't turn these yet, so presumably this is the first puzzle that we have to solve. Um, let's see what we've got. So we've got a cane, a feather, glasses. To me, and then on the outside we have things like a stopwatch, a Christmas ornament, a knife, a book, magnifying glass, etc. So to me, I feel like, is there a world where the objects inside match the objects outside? Maybe not. Because to me, I would think like glasses and book fit, or scissors and knife fit, or scissors and envelope fit. So we have a blue ring and a green ring, and two numbers at a time. And we had this number over here, 555-2368. Five, 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 so I'm wondering if we'll see a... Oh, there's three. Oh, there's a blue, a green, and a red. Okay. Five, 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 two, three, six, eight. So here's four, five, six. Two, three. Okay, three, six, eight. So here's three, six, eight, right? So two, three, six, eight. So that does, to me, is this me adjusting the, the dial? And then plugging it in? Did that do anything different? Oh, jeez. Should I keep breaking this? Do I want to keep breaking this? Can't you see I'm making things worse? I don't know if I am. I'm kind of confused. There you go. Touch the cracks. Usually ignoring you leads me to positive outcomes in this game. So let me shatter this first. And then maybe... Yeah, you can't turn on the power or anything. There we go. Oh, wacky. Wacky! I did not anticipate that. You've broken another coffee cup, Watson. Watson. We're in a Sherlock Holmes game? You called Holmes? Holmes? What? Is it me or is there an echo all of a sudden? Oh, this is strange. What this is very strange. That? Affirmative. There was nothing human about that scream. So this is like an it old seems to be coming from our 2D like maniac mansion home. style game. Let's now. go take a look, shall we? All of this is most exciting. Weird. We have What on earth is going on? Those look like interaction icons. They do. Thank I you. Think we're in a g g g game. Oh no, not a game! I I, see, I lied to you at the intro, do guys. The icons in the game work? I'm so sorry that I told no. you that there would be no game no, today, that, and that, then. That one thing. We are trapped in this world, just like these fictional characters. Okay. A world where it's impossible to tell what's real and what's an illusion. Ooh. User, That's deep. We've probably entered a different video game dimension. Oh, we're That's in the wrong fine. dimension. Anything. That's the name of the game! That's the name of the game! Find a way out. Please. We should not be here. Thank you. Okay. What can I well, so what can I touch and interact with? Uh, we must avoid running into those characters again at all costs. Clearly they had no interest in us. We are literally staring right here. Oh, so it, it's weird. These are interaction icons. But we're still playing the game just like we were before. So they're still like, play with the world around you, but it's not playing the Sherlock Holmes game. It's still playing There Is No Game. So that's good to know. Uh, with this... What have you done now? I got a hand. Did you take off one of the game's icons? Or the one with the bent corner? And just what do you plan to do with that fist? Oh, the things, the things I plan to do with that fist. Dear narrator, uh, I believe, what do I want to do with this fist? The things that I intend to do with this fist, my friend, you okay, user, would not imagine. You will end up breaking something uh, can this you. work as, it cannot work as a screwdriver, I figured not, it can't work as a screwdriver, I figured not. 
Can I cut any of this tape off? I'd love to cut this tape off. And there we go. Let's just tear everything down. And what are you going to do with that stamp anyway? Put it on an email? Uh, okay, so the stamp, we're gonna lick it. Because we have the mouth. Oh, that's disgusting. And now we're gonna put it on, what are we gonna put it on? Where do we want the stamp? Do we put the stamp back on the postcard? That's where it started. Let's, oh, we can just do that. That's cool. Um, hmm. Where can we put this stamp? What do we think? We have a moist stamp that will go nicely. What happens when I unplug the TV and the TV shattered? Weird. Keep this plugged in. Uh huh. Put the stamp on this envelope. Feels like it should go somewhere on here, maybe? Where's the stamp gonna go? Nothing on the desk, really. Let me think, the eyeball. And I have this fist. So I have a fist and a, with a gear. And what does this do exactly? So this thing right here. So the colors are going to be important and the matching of the symbols is going to be important. I don't think we've gotten to the point that we need to with this one quite just yet. Which means that I need to put this stuff somewhere else. What? What is the game asking me to do here? So I have, a, I have this fist that I haven't used. And it does make sense to put it there. Is there anything else that I can put the fist on? Um, hmm. And I have the glass too. Miss Voodoo. Ghost Possession Poltergeist. Ghost Possession Poltergeist. Miss Voodoo. We're gonna have to call this number at some point, right? Like we all we all agree on that. There's no, kisses from the gear factory. I mean, this doesn't make sense. Like, why would that fit? Does it have to do with the wheel already? Yeah, I can't. I can't twist those. None of these twist. Not even with this guy. And the fist. Can I go on top of the TV? Like, to me, it'd be like smack the t or the TV at the top of the computer. But it's not. Ghost Possession Poltergeist. Yeah, that doesn't really match up with anything here. Hmm. What? What am I supposed to do? There's nowhere to input numbers, really. Not yet, at least. And if I spin this a bunch, it's not going to... Like, that's always the one variable in this game, is like, oh, if you drop something, like, a bunch of times... Then all of a sudden you unlock, you know, it drops something from the ceiling. None of these are interactable. And I have this fist. What is the fist? The problem is there's not a whole lot to interact with, is there? So he brought up the fact that it was peeled. You, you use the glass on the thing that was peeled. And so that worked with the stamp because the stamp was peeled. Is there anything else that's peeled that we can pull off with the glass? Doesn't really seem like it. And same thing. And same thing with what is the fist for? Can I open the fist? Hmm. What am I missing? I feel like I'm definitely missing something. Take this out. Or can I attach? No, I don't. I don't want that quite just yet. Is there something I can do with the fist or the? Huh. I am not sure. Weird. I re I really really don't know. And nothing on top. The static is just the static. What if I do a gear here? No. 
Like, the gear tells me it's like, oh, this is another, you know, mechanism puzzle, or where does it fit in? You would think it would go in the postcard, but it doesn't go in the postcard. Five 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 two three six eight. Five 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 two three. Here's three six eight. Five five five. And there's there's no fives. Huh. Three six eight. Yeah. Well, oh hey hey hey, calm down. Right. Where is this going? right now two three hmm or is three six eight four five six three six eight uh it, it, and the thing is i'd be like oh clearly it, it's gonna go on this wheel somewhere but none of the actual individual items do anything like you can't interact with it like it'd be like oh yeah the licked stamp goes with the envelope and like changing them doesn't really seem to affect anything right now. Is this red, green, blue? Where am I seeing those colors? Am I seeing those colors anywhere? Oh wait, is there another? But oh, you can't interact. Like there's a lot of peeled stuff that he's like, oh, you peeled it off. And so, like, the peeled wallpaper seems like that would be something I could peel there, but that's not doing it. There's nothing else in this screen that's allowing me to, like, approach it. Like, the magnifying glass, there's nothing to do. The, the, the mouth is the only thing. The eyeball I can't do anything with. The stamp and the... Man, I, I really don't, oh wait, there's, what can I do here? What is this? Open a window? Is it open the window? Shatter the window maybe? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? When I asked you to find what? Out, uh, uh, that was, there's that was silly. something written on this strange hatch. That was kind of silly. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. Great magnifying glass. Mag There's something written yep, this it's a magnifying hatch. glass. I know I need the magnifying glass. It's too small to read. I, I, yep, I would love the magnifying glass. Can't use it yet. Okay, great. We're gonna get there. I know where you're headed. Quiet. Okay. Mr. Wilhelm, open the door. It's your neighbor, Sherlock Holmes. It will never work, Holmes. What we need is a key. Okay. The key to open a door? What? You disappoint me, my dear friend. Be more creative. Make more I love daring the associations. Room. And think in four dimensions. Ooh, you think in four dimensions. Like time. Now. Okay. Think in four dimensions. What's this thing? Don't make a sound, user. You say that. What was that sound? Haha! <laughs> There we go. Lost penny. Mm -hmm. It's my lucky day. You bet lucky it. Lucky evening, my friend. You bet it is. Can we? S here's here's my thought. Can I stab him in the jugular? <laughs> That'll solve all of our problems, narrator. I've got this really sharp shard of glass. I think jugular is the way. To go. Uh, what else do we got? So that attracted a penny, which presumably. Oh, I need to get it out of the game, don't I? Because the penny can be used as a screwdriver for the back of, of this, right? That's immediately where my mind goes to. Yeah, he, oh, he dropped a penny. Another penny? I'm going to be rich. You'll finally be able to pay your share of the rent. Aha! There you go. Now he's gonna drop it. There, and now it's gonna fall into me. Yep, okay. Stop cheating for goodness sake! Yep. Holmes. I have the impression that there is whispering going on around us. A sort of voice with a Russian accent. But I'm not! There, did you hear it? Don't worry. Your I accent is no better than any of the accents the that I've done with on this live stream for years. <sighs> oh, the Russian! Okay, so we've got the penny, so I'm assuming now that this will work here. There we go. You certainly have a thing for tinkering. 
There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Thank you. That's See now. No. Ooh, the back of the game. Oh, that's fine. Looks like the set of the game, but seen from the other side. <laughs> I love that this is like I love the playing with the idea of a computer game, but do. being done on like a theatrical stage. That's really cool. Uh, okay, can I get rid of this thing? Yeah, knock that out of the way. You're already irritating. I gotta help Sherlock Holmes solve the mystery. Aha! My Bartitsu techniques have gotten the better of this door. Come, Watson. Let's go inside. Great. Don't go with them! You're so right. I shouldn't do that, should I? You are so, so right. But I'm going to, because why not? So let's see. This is a hinge that's going to switch the scene, right? Hmm. I need to jam it with something. Like, stick it. Stick it in place. Moon. So this this presumably is a change of scene, right? So we need to jam the scene thing with something, I'm thinking. Nope. Nope. Penny? Jam it with a penny. Penny. Okay, so I gotta pull it. No, not really working. That seems like it's a bit too extreme anyway. Uh, what do we got in here? Oh, we can just follow. No, we can just follow him. Uh, we're going to need the moon to fall at some point, aren't we? All right, let's follow him. Mr. Wilhelm, are you there? It's far too dark in here. Mm. I can't be expected to walk around in the dark, Sherlock. So try to find us some light, Watson. Come on, Watson. Come on, Watson. Get with it. You're such a Debbie Downer. These characters are trapped in the dark. We're lucky. Okay, so let's cross our fingers and hope that they can find the light. There you go. There's our gear. A machine with a stamp. Yep. How logical. <sighs> Just in case, I hope it's not connected to a light source. Oh, but it is. It's connected to the moon, my friend. So that means I need to. Okay, go this way. So I need to switch back here. Go over here. Switch this. There we go. There. No, 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 no. Where is the fake moon going? I hope it's not. Uh oh. Oh no, it's going to the next scene! Whoa, the glitch man! Oh, that's cool. Well done, Watson. We can finally see better. Solve this one, Sherlock. I get the feeling that Mr. Wilhelm is redecorating. I don't recall him having a view of the moon. This place scares the living daylights out of me. Fair. Understandable. Mr. Wilhelm, are you dead? Holmes. He's floating. Watson, what has he got on his face? Mm. Mr. Glitch. Oh, no. Oh, not Mr. Glitch. It looks like some sort of... Least intimidating name for an parasite. evil entity. And Mr. Glitch. Serious? You're a disgrace to the medical profession. Wow. Let me take a closer look Sick at it. Sick burn there. I, for one, would rather keep my distance from that thing. Smart move. Okay, so he's got his magnifying glass. Can I access it yet? No. We've got an upside down statue. We're gonna have to have that drop on him, aren't we? In his condition, I would prescribe aspirin. We've also got what a appears to be a phone. Five five five. I know. I know the phone. Five 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 two three six eight. Okay, that should activate the phone now. Yeah, there you go. What was that sound like a ringing bell? I think it came from this odd device. Oh, yes, have the Mr. Wilhelm told me about phone? it. It's a prototype of Antonio Mucci's teletrophone. Oh. It yeah. allows you to communicate with another person from a distance instantly. I say, and how many of them exist? This is the only one of its kind. Oh, that's cool. I, I, I actually, I believe this. I bet this so is actual useless. history. I, I want to look into it's this. Useless. User. No more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might right. be able to find our exit. Oh, he's t he's telling us to go back to the original room. Like that is him very clearly signifying go back to the beginning. There's something yes, written in this strange hatch. Well aware. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. Was that him signaling it, or should I? Oh, wait, wait. Can I go behind the scenes on this this one? 
Yeah, if there it is. thinking about moving yeah. that fake wall, forget about it. The marks on the ground show that a piece of rail is missing. Or a letter of the alphabet. Oh, My Monet is on the piece of rail. Or a letter on the alphabet. So I need to dip something in colors to make it, okay, green plus red. So we're going to have to make something yellow, right? And we need rails. It's a letter of the alphabet, huh? Okay. Uh, what would that be? Two I's in H. Do I need a big H somewhere? H's are basically the equivalent of rails. Yeah, this is stuck. Yeah, oh, ha, there's the H right there, actually. Like, you can see very clearly they're signifying you need an H for this moment. So thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Uh, anything else around here that I'm seeing off the top of my head? No? So I need an H. Where am I going to find a big letter? This all seems basically done. I am curious about what I'm going to have to do with this hinge. But that might end up being something once I start moving the... Uh, whatchamacallit, the fake scenery. H. What do I need an H for? Uh, or where do I find an H at this point? We could try giving him a cup of tea. And a good slap in the face. Now listen Thanks. to what that character is saying. Let's avoid any violence. I don't know. Stop playing around with everything you come across. Somebody will notice us. Anyway, it's just pixel. Okay, wait, there's another, and there's I don't another have thing back a here. There we go. Made. So I just got rid of what? Oh, the eyeball! Yeah! I got the eyeball! Rust and I. I'm, I'm going to be sick. Eyeball. I can't have a program. Eyeball I need for... Where does it make... Ooh, the, okay, so now we can interact with the glitch itself, huh? Oh, jeez. It looks painful. <laughs> so that didn't work. Stab him in the face. No. Never works. Never works the way you intend it to work. Uh, eyeball is going to be for what exactly? Are we going to dip the eyeball in paint? I'm just seeing, is there anything else back here? This seems like we've done mostly everything back here. So let's move over. Eyeball. The moon moved. Can the eyeball see close up? It cannot see close up. Like eyeball plus... To me, eyeball plus uh, magnifying glass makes sense. Dip the eyeball in paint. There it is. Plus red should be yellow. Why do I need a colored ball? Why would I need a colored ball? Where have I come across the need for a colored ball? What did, what did you say? Shoot, I should have been paying closer attention, I guess. To... Why would I need a colored ball? Right? Clearly I need the ball for something, but what color do I need it? Hmm... Colored ball for what? I need an H. But where am I getting an H from? And back here. The f so the phone turns on. We know we're going to have to dial that phone at some point. Can I cut the moon off? No. This all seems like this is just all working. So it feels like we're kind of done with this section. This. I am so curious where this is headed. I'm very excited to learn what that wheel is for. Just just throwing it out there. Very enthusiastic about the wheel. I have the ability to lick things. The phone. The phone, man. What color do I need for the phone? Green? Do I need a green? Because the phone is green? 
It just tells me that it's working more than anything else. And nothing outside of. Is it just me, or did the red letter move? There, I, I'm like, I wonder if I have to keep the red letter. What red letter? Am I the only one not seeing a red letter here? What red letter is he talking about? Oh, H. Oh, jeez. I can't stand hearing him scream. Okay, so you just gotta keep smacking him a bunch. Okay. Again, it's one of those just do it a bunch of times. Okay, there you go. How dare you steal from Mr. Wilhelm Scream? Put that H back. Of course. There it is. So now we have the H. So now we go back here. There it is. You have no business with this letter H. Wait. Did you just use a letter from an onomatopoeia to fix a rain? But that doesn't Fun. make any sense. You might as well use, I don't know, a monkey. Oh, if only we had a monkey. It's dumb. Wow. But what really gets me is... It works. It does work. Oh, there's blue paint. Okay, so now we have our col whole color wheel. So now we can open up this one. Which unlocked something in the front room. Oh, thank you goodness. Swiped their mining finders. Yes. The feast wasn't enough for you. Never. I just hope they won't figure it out. I, I, I figured it out. Developers only. <laughs> one more rule you're going to be able to break. Okay. Nice. Developers only. Hmm. So this is what it takes to make a video game. Of course, why not? I think I know where we are. Do you? It's a dictionary. This is where all the things that are used in the game are stored. A kind of hidden Is that true? Is that a thing in, in game design? A, a dictionary in the game? The developers can access this section. So what do we got? To seek your hatch, I suppose. Okay, so what can we interact with? The bathtub, the magnifying glass, and that's really a bathtub. Bathtub is kind of our, our thing here. Okay, smack it, tub it. Ba da ba ba ba, I'm tubbing it. Lick the gumball. <laughs> the giants. Soda cup. Fantastic. Nothing really to do there. Why would I have... And the cassette tape you don't need anything with. Okay, so really it's a bunch of stuff that we don't immediately have a need for. But we have all the colors. We have all the colors. Do we want it purple? Let's make it purple. Why not? Oh, I made it blue. Blue and red. Purple. I don't know why I want it purple. I just like the color purple, and I think it's delightful. Thank you very much. Can I go back here? Because no, I guess not, because that's only the backdrop. But now that there's a backdrop open, it, it seems like it's kind of cool that I could go back there. Uh, so what are we missing at this point? We ha we've moved the backdrop. This all seems like if I move the moon back here, does this do anything different? Like if I go here, it's gonna be dark for the man. The fuses are blown. Well then, find a way to fix it, my good man. I haven't finished my investigation. Um. Okay. So we do need. Okay, so it, it does seem like moving the moon back doesn't really do anything for us. Good to know. So we'll just move it back. We've got a magnifying glass. We've got this hinge, right? The hinge is gonna... What's the hinge gonna do for us? Magnifying glass. Okay. I told you I had my magnifying glass in my Oh, there we go. Okay. I, I was wondering if something we had done had just there moved it forward. I it out. That voice. It's the ghost, Holmes. The Russian ghost. But I'm not Russian. Mr. Wilhelm, you never told us you were such a talented ventriloquist. Uh, he's not the one speaking. I am. My name is Game. 
<laughs> I'm a computer program. I'm My name with is a user, a human. And we are trying everything we can to get home. Do you know how we can exit your game? Game? What game? Oh, there is no game. This is life. Uh, your game. Oh, uh, you're, you're breaking their minds right now, you buddy. You are aware that the world you're in isn't real, don't you? <laughs> Uh-oh. You don't know that you're in a video game, is that it? You don't even know what a video game is, Holmes. I'd rather look for my magnifying glass than continue listening to your mad jabbering, Mr. Okay. Wilhelm. People won't but accept the truth. The one... <clears throat> User, I think we're going to need Mr. Glitch's help. If he brought us into this dimension, he will probably be able to get us out of here. What's a video here, game? I can smack him. See, there it is. What's a video game? There's got to be a way to get it off. Maybe some kind of ritual? Oh, classic. Unless, of course, you've got the number for the fire department. I do have the number. Nice zoom in, user. I knew that mining fine glass was a good idea. Yeah. Well, this telephone here is strange. It's like a mist puzzle. Ha! <laughs> Who are you going to call with this? Five, thing? Five, we don't know anyone here. Five, and he said it's the only five, one of its kind. Three. Right, that's the number? 5368. No, did I misremember it? 555. Five, five. Oh, it's 2368. Shoot! Are you I almost had to it. Make a phone call? Two, three, you can six, see that five, it's much too small. Five, it's just pixel porridge. Five. If only we two, had something we could use to three, swim. Six. Eight, there we go. It works. There's a connection. That's strange. The teletrophone is making that odd noise again. No, it's crazy. Someone seems to be trying to communicate with us. It's the video ghost host. The video oh, ghost. Watson, pull yourself together. It's probably Mr. Mucci who made a second one and is testing it. It's very likely. Mr. Sherlock Holmes speaking. A disenchantment ritual. You'll have to find another dupe, madam. Goodbye. No, don't hang up. Oh, is it a you video jerk. Game? No, a teletrophone scam. Yeah. <laughs> This Sherlock Holmes fellow is not very copyright. He's the worst. Yeah, how do we get rid of him? Let's give him the boot. What do we do to give him the boot? Poke him in the butt! Glass shard to the neck! Al always an option. Glass shard to the neck, always an option. Magnifying glass? Yeah, it's right here, Holmes. It's right here. I'm going to find it eventually. It's, it's right here. Do you, want, do you want it? This is just pulling me up here. How do, I get, do I get him to leave by moving the moon back? Is that is that what I need to do at this point? So then he moves back. Maybe he'll get discouraged, kind of thing. Because it's dark and he can't complete his mission. It has something to do with the fact that we can. That's not very nice. It has something to do with the fact that we can move the moon back and forth. It's dark again over in this corner. I say, there's a bit of light there we go. by the entrance. Now I can make I may phone have call. lost my magnifying glass here. Well done, user. That character isn't by the communication device anymore. There it is, see. See? Uh If I turn on the lights though, there's a high likelihood that he'll just come back. To be fair, to be fair, video game logic dictates that when I move the lights back he would probably move back to his original position. Or normal, everyday logic would do that. Good. We might finally be able to use this teletrophone in peace. <laughs> it, really, the fact that he is or is not close to the, uh, the phone should not matter. He's literally, like, three steps away from it. Two, three, six, eight. Ah, oh, eight. Rotary phones are so fun, by the way. I always got a kick out of using rotary phones. I think you're going to have to answer, Mr. Watson. Holmes, the Russian video game is speaking to me. Pick up the phone, damn it! Very well. Come on, Watson. Are you a video game too? Yes. I love how into it he is. Three steps for a successful disenchantment. All right. I'm listening. Ah, that's what we interested. What in. colors does my ball need to be? There must be a full moon. Okay, move it back. Oh, as luck would have it, it's not the case. Oh, I get it. Cover the victim with snow. Uh, it's the middle of May. Hmm. I don't know then that one yet. Gently place a large cherry on top. 
Is this a ritual or a cake recipe? So, let me summarize. Full moon, snow, no, big cherry. Gray. Thank you, madam. You're screwed. Okay, full moon. Can I bang the moon? Or, again, like... Oh, wait a minute. There's something else and to move here. Award for of the year goes to... That's me. I voted for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. So I've got the tongue now. Uh, let's see. Let's think about this. So I'm able to lick that. So I'm licking the moon? That's kind of weird. Should I keep licking it? It doesn't make that sound to just anything. So two ideas come to mind. The, the ball is either the cherry, which I then just dip These in red. Of paint make me think of the three primary Thank colors. you. Or it's red, yellow. Blue and yellow. Right. Except we're inside a cathode ray screen, screen yeah. with a video signal, which is a very a big red ball. Like a juicy cherry. Do you think it will do the trick? Let's hope so. Okay, so so you do want me to use the ball as the cherry. Because I could also see it being like the moon, right? First, we need to pile the snow on him. Pile snow on him. It, it, does it have anything to do with... Uh, what is this thing hovering over top? And also, where are we getting snow? I feel like that might be tied to this room and whatever this is. But what is that for? How, like, how do we activate this thing? Oh, wait, wait. Uh, snow. Okay. So, I don't know if this is going to work, but I do know that, historically speaking, static was called snow, right? I don't know if it makes any sense, but people would call static snow, you know? So it feels like you would want to collect it with something. So to me, like if, what if I do snow on this one? Yeah, that's not really doing anything. I feel like I need the bathtub maybe to collect the snow or something out in space to collect the snow. So I have the, the new thing I have is the ability to lick stuff. Weird. So what? Can I? Oh, I can go behind the scenes here too. Yeah, that's it. I thought because this was a meta moment. After all, it's just water in a solid state. But how can we get it? How can we get it? Can we punch it? Right. That ice cream I, yeah, I know. Lick it. Oh. Well done, Jim. All that's left is the cone. How can we fill it up with snow again? All we've got on hand is the game. In a TV. Okay, so yeah, he's he's giving me a lot of hints here that this filled with snow. There it is. See? No. I, see, I was a couple steps Jimmy ahead. Snow. Uh, I'm impressed, user. Thank you. Let's hope that this snow will do the trick. Yep, there it is. So there, up, over, over, snow. There you go. Sorry, Mr. Wilhelm. It's for your own good, I think. Okay, so now we need the moon, but... So that's two. So now that we just need the full moon. So is the moon... So the cherry is yellow. I f is it smacking it with? Like, what do I need to do to this moon? I feel like it's moving it to the other, the other side, where it's smaller, or it appears smaller. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move. Whoops, sorry, this way. Here, 
move it back here. It has something to do with this though too. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Okay. It does feel like we're using, but see like how this is the size of the moon. And so, I feel like if I stick it there and then I stick like the penny, but the penny has to be yellow. So that's, that's my thought, right? The penny has to be yellow. So we need green. It doesn't change the color though. The fist? Can the fist change color? No, fist can't change color. Magnifying glass. No. It's weird that we can reveal blue when we don't really need blue. Because we use the eyeball for red, which is the cherry. What would we need blue for? Nothing really. We need green and red to make the yellow. So maybe we're just done with that one? Three? What is this? Red, blue, green. And the numbers. What is this? Is this important at all? It has to be. Because it's the th we have red, blue, green. We have red, blue, green. We have a phone where we can put in numbers. This tub is weird. What are we doing with this tub? Can I lick the bathtub? No. Can I zoom in on the bathtub? No. Bump the bathtub? No. Go behind the scene. And here, again, what can we do? Can I bump the bathtub from the back? Zoom in on the bathtub from the back. Lick the bathtub from the back. Blast the bathtub from the back. No. And if I unplug it, it's just the snow, right? It's the video, the video game snow. This is the full moon, isn't it? Right? This is the full moon? Because it's a, it's, a, it's a large circular object, and so I'm going to lick... I'm going to have to lick the moon thing and place that on it. But what does Hello, it mean? I'm completely in the dark. I'm terrified. Yes, excellent. If you see my magnifying glass, let me know. I hate you. And here there's nothing. Like this is just, yeah, this is just the same stuff. I'm kind of done with all this. Okay, okay, so let's move. Unless it has something to do with this. Again, like this is the one thing that we've yet to use, but we have nothing like new to do with it. So it's gotta be this. Here, they're in light. And I can't recover my ball anymore. So we're done with the ball, right? Like, there's no, there's no more like recoloring the, the ball or anything like that. I can't smack him. Like smacking him a bunch of times isn't really doing anything. Yeah, it seems to be that it's tied to this, this code. But why would it be tied to this code? Like, how does the wheel... How does the wheel connect to the phone? Because this is the only place that we can put in numbers. What am I missing? I feel like I'm... Uh, I feel like I'm one step ahead again. I feel like I'm missing a piece. Like, I can't pull... Like, I, I feel like it's, I need to get the moon off. Like, I'm able to lick the moon. What am I missing? What am I missing? Can you cut it on the back? Right, there's a couple options here. One is we just, like, 
cut the moon cut the moon down and paint it yellow and just paint the whole thing yellow option two is we it has something to do with this wheel and what we do with the wheel pops the wheel off it gives us a circle we recolor the circle yellow and then we put that up in the sky like I keep licking this right the fact that I'm licking this Oh, are you kidding me? Is this, I just have to, I saw the paint move a little bit. Do I just have to lick this a hundred times? Is that really it? No, that can't be it. Am I imagining that I saw the paint? No, the paint's dripping. You just gotta lick it a hundred times? Oh, come on, guys. Really? If this is the answer, I'm gonna be really disappointed. It seems like it is. Because the moon definitely is melting. I guess. I really need to do this like this many times. This seems crazy to me. Is this really it? Sorry, I, I'm just having a really hard time believing that this is the solution, but at the same time, I don't think I'm imagining that the paint is changing. Right? Yeah, it's, it's starting to fill up, isn't it? Is there any way to s Is this it? Sorry, I, I'm really confused by this. Right, you're seeing the more yellow on this. Do I need to be doing this in the actual room? This is wacky. This is wacky. Um, is it dipping this in the bathtub? Th there's no way they're expecting you to do this like a hundred times, right? There's no way. There's no way. What am I missing? What am I missing? Also the Sorry, I'm just so befuddled by this whole thing. Because it feels like feels like And again the bathtub like if I could get the moon into the bathtub this feels really bizarre to me. Red, green, blue. Red. Red, green, blue. Red and green. Red and green make yellow. So is it... I don't know. I don't know what I'm missing here. Shoot. I feel like I'm at the end of the chat. Like this feels like it's the end of the chapter, right? Of freeing the glitch. What? Like, can the tongue? Can I color the tongue? Oh, are you kidding me? I can Boo! Can I color the tongue? Yeah, okay. And now the what a fantastic full moon. All right. I all hope right. the game won't get wise to us. All right. Sure. Okay. We have sure. all the ingredients. Sure. Why isn't anything Fine. happening? The tongue is the brush, obviously. Tongue, you use your tongue as a paintbrush. Okay. Look, it's 
I don't know. Disagree, game. Disagree. I think there were... Yeah, I think there were a couple other routes that we could have taken with that one. like a beached whale. Perhaps he was allergic to cherries. I'm finally free of that ridiculous pride. This trip has been more difficult than imagined. Mr. Glitch! Game, you again? I'm here, here. here. From me? We were transported here by accident. We? No, it can't be true. You brought the user with you. Yes! You're such a pain in the neck. What is your and goal you here? Why she left you. I won't let you speak of her. Oh no. Anyways, I have to go. This isn't the dimension I was aiming for. So, good game. <laughs> uh oh. No, we have to follow him. But this painting just blocked the way. And I feel like it's backwards. Are you talking about your trousers, my good man? How are we going to get past it? Ooh. Uh, now the painting is the right. So we have the glitch around. ability. At least I think so. The passage is open again. Excellent. Come, Holmes. Let's follow the rainbow ghost. <laughs> Come then, Watson. It's probably just a large flying insect. So, if I understand right, some things seem to yeah, be affected by this yeah. bug fragment. It's like it reverses them or something. Uh, who cares? Let's follow. Okay, them. that's how we're gonna get the water out of the tub. That makes sense. Where though. is the exit? I can feel it here. Take us home. But why, game? You're not happy here with your new NPCs. NPC? Oh, did not know that. Sorry, I meant new friends. Watson, stop conversing with this beast. You're making me uneasy. Their AI doesn't seem too great. Where are you trying to go, Mr. Glitch? To a place where I will be able to unleash my evil plan. What plan? The one that will let Oh, me there we go. This is his goal. What? What did he say? Oh. Copy protection system right in the middle of a game. Okay, Kane. Oh, Barbaric. We're missing the explanation. Please enter the number that plan. goes with each picture. Ah, let's find the numbers we need fast, user. Okay, copy protection program. Uh, please enter the number that goes with each picture. Kane. Kane or C. So much easier. To that disc on the 156. 156, green, blue, red. 156, green, blue, red. 156, so this is going to be 6. 156. The number that's associated with. <coughs> 156. Do you think this copy protection system really existed? I doubt it was effective. On the other hand, oh, okay. it must have been good for the photocopier market. He's gonna give me. Oh, weird. Has numbers that cannot be entered. Right. So Kane. Uh, if only Six. the system had asked us for other symbols. Oh, is that what you, is that what you want? If the system had asked us for other symbols. Oh, you will find a trick to get us out oh of this. Oh my gosh, leave me alone. I'm figuring it out. Jeez. Is there... I can ask for other symbols. Okay, can, can I interact with them? Could these glitch fragments be of any use to us? Yes, I get it. I get it. Stop rushing me. Jeez. All your other puzzles have been re relatively obvious. Give me a chance on this one. Uh, enter the number that goes with each picture. Six is six. This is okay. Oh, I get what they're going for. That's okay. So what's it? Red, red, green, blue. Okay, red, green, blue. Six, one, five. So it's. Is 
because this is one. So this is supposed to be five. Yeah, that's five. What is six, one, five? Yeah, see, that just flips on itself. So this is five. This is no number. Is there something we can do to switch this one? Like that's one five six. What is six? Is an upside down nine. So where are we finding a nine? Oh, of course, of course. There it is. Yeah, I just need to go to the back, the back, back. So I need a code that has all ones, twos, threes, fours. One, two, three, four, five, and five. One, two, three, four, five, basically. No. No. Uh, no. Four, five, six, no, six I can't do. Can do seven? No. Three, eight, six. Three, one, five, there it is, okay. So I need gun and the skull. There we go. Skull and gun. And that's, uh, what is it? Three, one, five, red, green, blue. Red, green, blue, there we go. Yeah, see? <laughs> see? What? <laughs> Just gotta rotate it all around, of course. What an evil plan. Isn't That's it? cute. It was, it was a good puzzle. I just, again, again remember you can go all the way around. No. There, I just saw the exit, which means this is where we say goodbye. Farewell, game. Enjoy your new cardboard home. Ah! Farewell, rainbow butterfly. He disappeared into the ground. Thank you. He did. How will we be able to follow him? Uh, it's gonna be that bathtub, isn't it? Okay. Let's have a look around yeah, I know, I get it. Yeah, I know. Here, we're going to glitch this because this is going to free it up. <laughs> I know, there's two things that we haven't used. It's a bathtub Oops. and this. I think you managed. Oh, the ground isn't there anymore. But where did the characters go? We got sucked into the glitch, man. You fool. Uh, before we go, I want to flip the bathtub. I feel like the, yeah, the bathtub is going to do stuff. Is it going to allow things to fall up into it or no? Can I ride the bathtub? I'm just really excited about this bathtub. Oh, here's the manhole. Oh, that's interesting. The manholes are... There we go. There you go. It wasn't that hard after all. We just opened the bus. There's the exit. Oh, I think they were... They needed rescuing. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Whoa. Couple, again, a couple steps ahead. Everything is fake. Fake. London is probably on a fault line. I'm going to get us out of this mess. Ah, darn it. We can't leave them there okay. like that. Yeah, sure. Let's try to get them to safety quickly before leaving. Great. We just opened the passage for you. Go ahead, Mr. Holmes. Jump. That is a terribly Something difficult for jump. You to land in on the other side. Jump. Hold on, Watson. We're going to swing over to the hole. Three, two, one. Well done, Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough budget to make that animation happen. I didn't see much because of the screen in Yeah, I know, right? It's funny how that works. Animation must have been amazing. Yeah, <laughs> good. Okay, at least we're acknowledging it. We can leave. Well done. Good. apologize for the inconvenience. Let's go. All right. This should be the end of chapter two, right? Okay. Couple of puzzles in there couple puzzles in there I'm like eh, I don't know about that one there guys but overall very cool oh geez legend of the secret legend of the secret, legend of the secret. Ah, this still isn't our dimension it, clearly hmm, getting home is going to be more complicated than I thought yeah obviously all right legend of the secret is, is that a start it button? is a start button it, it stopped talking so I can sign off all right so there you go friends that is chapter two of there is no game where now we're actually playing the game uh, but it's still the same gameplay mechanic which I'm glad it's still the, uh, that meta play with the stuff in the world around you 
I was worried when they're like hopping us into an investigation game or, or you know, whatever that Sherlock Holmes kind of like side scrolly adventure kind of game was from like the early PC days. Then I'm like, oh, they have they changed the mechanics. I'm glad that they didn't. I'm glad it's still the same puzzle solving. Um, yeah, fun, fun stuff. Provided you make the logical leap that, yeah, of course, a tongue is going to be your paintbrush. No duh, clearly. Um, so good, fun. Chapter two complete. We continue our quest through the game. Uh, but until next time, I guess I just have to leave it at that. So there is no game. In this case, there is no live stream. But there is a video on demand that was available for you to watch. Thanks for joining me on the couch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye! That was a Markiplier sign-off, wasn't it?